I'm talking about talking. Um, on mobile, really, people use uh, mo increasingly more and more speech. So um, the reason for it, there's multiple reasons for that. First of all, there's more and more situations where uh, it's becoming more and more acceptable <laughs> to, to talk to your phone. Uh, uh, I'm going to talk to my phone in front of you for uh, 20 minutes at least, or half an hour maybe. Um, uh, but um, I think one, one reason actually, that one big reason that that's actually happening is because um, speech recognition has really improved a lot. The technology behind the speech recognition has improved a lot. So two years ago, every, every maybe, uh, uh, I think 25% was uh, nearly the error rate that we had. So this means that every four words, one of them were, was uh, detected wrong. Now is, I think, uh, in, a, in a good environment, uh, well, in, uh, across all the uh, voice uh, recognition is 8% or less than that. In a good environment should be also even less than that. And I hope to be able to prove that uh, live. So uh, one, one thing which is interesting is that when you when you um, talk with uh, voice, speech, uh, to interact uh, with your mobile with that, you um, naturally use more natural language. So people don't go to the desktop, to the box, box, search box and type. Uh, uh, if they want to ask for weather, they say weather tomorrow. But uh, if, if you're talking to your phone, it's actually very natural to say, hey, Google, uh, can you please tell me what's the weather going to be tomorrow? No one is going to type that, that, that long sentence. But it's very natural to uh, speak that. Same way as many people say thank you or things like that. And again, these are not something that you would uh, type. So the interaction is changing, and the, um, uh, the natural language sentences is really growing. So we have to basically be ready for, um, for handling uh, a lot more complex natural language. And of course, in the mobile world, uh, people are finding their answers not only in web. There is a whole app. Uh, uh, there is a whole uh, app ecosystem, and there is going to be the whole chatbot ecosystem. Um, and uh, so again, we have to think about all those uh, types of uh, um, um, all those changes uh, in order to think about the future. And uh, messaging apps are growing. I think some slide like that maybe was shown before. Uh, people now spend more more time on messaging apps than uh, than uh, social networks. So. Uh, that's another change in the world. And uh, with that, so what's, what's then with, with all of this, what's the future of search? Um, I mean, I didn't want it to make a surprise. I think that's, that's uh, perhaps all of you know, then, but that's what we are actually working on seriously for, for a number of years to really build the ultimate assistant. So um, we do want to build an assistant which, uh, which understands the world so it can uh, answer things, uh, things for you about the world. It understand you and your world because this is your assistant, so uh, should be able to answer questions about you. It should understand context. Context is really important, um, and uh, so so that it really understands that in this particular context, what you say, what does what does what you say mean in the current context? Then uh, you want to uh, the assistant be basically with you whenever uh, whenever you need it, wherever you are, and help you get things done. That's uh, that's why it's called assistant. 